Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to learn how to add audio and video files to your Google Slides and then we're going to learn a little bit on how to set them to autoplay or play on click or whatever you'd like. So the first thing we're going to do is start off on a blank slide. Now in order to show you I'm going to go borrow one of my YouTube videos and I'm just going to copy that link and go back to my sample my practice Google slide and we're going to go up to insert and we're going to go down to video. Now there's a couple different um, methods right here. You can search on YouTube. You can do the URL or you can go to your Google Drive and add one that way. So right now, all I'm going to do is paste that link in there and hit the search button. And here is my video. I'm going to select it. Now, this is one part that some people get hung up on because they forget to click on it. So you have to actually click on the video and then the select button will light up. And you can choose select and it will insert that video into your slide. Now it just throws it in. So you have to do your best to line it up. So I like those red guidelines. It'll help you get it right in the middle. You can also resize it and Google Slides will automatically um, resize the video for you and then line it back up again. Use your red guidelines. Sometimes it is tricky to get both those lines to line up. And there you go. There's your slide. There's your video inserted. Now, when you click on it, uh, let's close this box so I can show you. When you click on it, um, you'll want to go up to format and then format options. This will open up the panel on the right that you saw. And so format and format options. And then you'll be able to have some settings for your video. So you can see that right now it comes into the video as play on click. And this is where you can change it to play automatically or to play manually. So manually, it'll have the play button and you'll have to actually click the, the play button. On click, it'll just be as you're presenting your slide. So if you hit the space bar, that counts as a click and it will activate your video. Or you can set it to play automatically. If you're going to do one video per slide, you'll want to do that automatic. Now, down here is a really, really neat feature that I like, and it's that you can only play a portion of the video. So if you have this 30-minute YouTube video that you really want to teach with, and you have like just one little portion of it that you want to do, you can set the timing right here. All you have to do is watch the video and write down the time that you want it to start and end, and then insert it here. And it really, it's great. Um, for those videos that you just want the um, the video and no audio, you can mute the audio here. You can also resize them manually. You can lock the aspect ratio. But as you saw, when I stretched it, it automatically resized everything. So you probably won't need this section at all. Um, but you can also change the position, top left, center. And you can put a shadow around it. So I like some of those shadows. It just makes the... Just gives it a three-dimensional effect. That blur is one of my favorites. I like that. It just makes makes this little shadowy on both sides and on the bottom. All right, so there's your format options. Easy peasy how to insert a YouTube video. Works the same way if you're doing a file from your, from your Google Drive. Instead of um, search on YouTube, you'll just go to Google Drive and it'll bring up all the videos that you have, and you can just select one of those and insert those. So there's how to insert videos. Now we need to learn how to insert the audio. So let me get rid of this. And we're going to show you, oh, look at my shadow stayed when my video left. <laughs> all right, so now we're going to insert an audio clip. Now this is a little tricky. One little trick I teach my kids is they can go to YouTube and they can kind of do this little trick. Have them search for sound effects. Um, cow moo. Let's do that one. Um, cow, cow moo. There we go. Say we want that sound effect. <laughs> Why does it make me laugh? It makes me laugh. Say we want that sound effect in on our um, our slideshow. So I'm going to go to the share button and I'm going to copy that link. I'm going to go back to my Google slide and I'm going to insert that video. 
All right, so remember to click on that video and hit select. And then it's going to insert that video. Now, there's really no video. It's only audio. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shrink it down so that it's really tiny. And then I'm going to set it to automatically play. Now, if you want to get really tricky, so you can see it's right here. If you want to get really tricky, you can insert a text box. Now, watch this trick right over top of that video. Oops. It automatically resizes it. So place it over top of that video and then give it a white background and watch what happens. Poof, your video is disappeared, but it's still there and it's still going to automatically play and click. So that's just a little trick. If you want some, um, some sneaky sound effects in your Google slides that are easy to do. Um, narrating your slide. Now this is a little tricky. This really is um, a process. Google, if you're listening to me, please insert a narrator button so that you can put an audio clip on these slides. It's really easy to do. It's right next to your voice typing tool that you have built into the to the uh, speaker notes. You can do it, Google. Just put it in for us. We want it. All right. If I want to narrate a slide, what I'm going to do on my PC is I'm going to go to an app called the Voice Recorder. Now, you have these built into a lot of different devices. It's right in my iPad. I can voice record, or you can do it on your Chromebook. And here's the PC method. So all you do is open that up, and you hit that record button. And now I'm recording on the voice recorder. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. All right, I have my little recording clip. Now, in order to get it into the slide, it has to be a Google file. So we're going to go back to my drive, and we're going to go to New and File Upload. File Upload, not Folder Upload, File Upload. Now, this is a part of the video that you may need to pause and rewind and watch a couple times because it is a little bit of a process. Not too tricky, though, but it's a bit of a process. So for my... PC throws my video recordings recordings into my documents folder and then sound recordings. So I hope you could see that. It's a little um, this PC documents sound recordings. So when I upload that file, it's going to upload over here and then it's going to insert this Google item right here. Now, if you go back to your slide, insert audio, you only are going to get options that are in your drive. You see this, there's no way you can upload a regular file. So you can go to your drive, shared drive, shared with me or recent. There's no way to upload an audio file. And you'll notice my, my file recording is not in my Google Drive. Why, why is that? That is because my recording is an M4A, and that's a problem for Google Slides. So the next step in getting this audio clip in there is to right-click that file. And then we're going to go to Open With, and one of your options should be Cloud Convert. If not, there's a way around that. If you don't have that there, then you don't have it tied to your account yet, and there's an easy way to tie it to your account. But as long as it's under open with, click on Cloud Convert, and it is going to load in your recording.m4a. Now, what you're going to want to do, this is the one I did on my test, my practice one. So let's get rid of that so everybody's not confused. Here's my recording. I'm going to, on the drop down button to convert to, I'm going to choose either a WAV or an MP3. Those files will work in Google, Google Slides. So I always like to go back to the old WAV file just because it's more compatible with different things. So if I need it for something else, it's it's already converted to a WAV. And I'm going to hit that Convert button. And it's going to process, and it's done. So the longer your audio clip is, the longer that little processing takes. But it still isn't bad. Now I'm going to go back to whoops, 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 my practice slide. And I'm going to close that out. And I'm going to go to Insert Audio. 
and poof, my new recording shows up in the dot .wav format. So now I can click that and hit insert or select. I think it makes you do select. If you have it shared with somebody, you're going to get this pop-up. Don't freak out. It's um, You just check the sharing privileges and make sure it's on view only. And you hit the share button and you're good to go. Now, this button is going to be on the page and you can move it around. But you can also get into the format and format options just like a video. And you can set it to automatic or on click. Just like that video setting. You can also set it to loop. So it'll just continuously loop until you stop it. And you can resize it and make it larger or more visible. You can even give it a little text box and give it a, a larger border weight so it stands out on your page. So if you want kids to use it or if you want um, your presenter to use it, you might want to make it pop a little bit. And there is the process to get an audio file into your Google slide. It's not too hard. You might have to pause and rewind that part about uploading and converting, though. And um, if you have a device that converts automatically to WAVE or MP3, you're good to go. You can just add that file into your Google, uh, your Google Drive, and it'll pop right in for you when you go to put it on your slide. So that's it for today, and I hope you enjoyed this one, and happy recording on your Google Slides. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye-bye.